As we continue learning the preterite, today we're going to be focusing on stem changing verbs. In the past, we've talked about how to conjugate them in the present tense, so today let's talk about how to conjugate them in the preterite. Welcome to Teacher Catalina, my channel, where you learn Spanish with a native speaker from a certified Spanish teacher with more than 16 years of teaching experience. I am ready and I know you are too. So let's head to El Salón de Clase so we can tackle the preterite of stem-changing verbs. Vamos! Okay, so what are stem-changing verbs? Stem-changing verbs are basically verbs that not only change in the ending, but they also have a change in the stem. And we learned that we have E to IE, O to UE, and E to I, of course, in the present tense. Now that we're talking in the preterite, here's what you need to know. AR and ER verbs do not stem change in the preterite, but IR verbs do. The important thing that you need to remember is that we're going to be focusing on verbs that end in IR. And what you need to remember is that those verbs that end in IR and that are stem changers in the present tense will also have a stem change in the preterite. But, and here's the important part, they will only stem change in the third person in the preterite. That means singular and plural. So it would be on él, ella, and usted, and also on ellos, ellas, and ustedes. Today we're going to go ahead and look at two verbs. The verb sentirse and the verb dormirse. You probably already can tell that those are reflexive verbs since we have the se, the reflexive pronoun, at the end. And we know that sentir and dormir are stem changers in the present tense, so that tells us we have to stem change them in the preterite. But then again, only in the third person. So let's go ahead and look at how we would conjugate these verbs in the preterite. ¿Listos? Okay. Let's go ahead and get the board. We're gonna go ahead and start with the verb sentirse, which means to feel a certain way. In this case, we know that sentirse is a reflexive verb, so we went ahead and put our reflexive pronouns here. We also know that again, sentirse has a stem change. It's a stem changer in the present tense, so therefore we know it will stem change in the preterite. But we need to remember that it's only going to happen in the third person singular, and on the third person plural. So how is it going to stem change? Well, that E on the stem is going to change to I. Again, only in the third person. For the rest, we're going to treat it like a regular verb in the preterite, got it? Okay, so let's go ahead and conjugate it together. So that is the verb sentirse in the preterite. And again, you probably noticed that we were able to change the stem in the third person singular and also on the third person plural. But the rest of that, we left it alone. Okay? Muy bien. So let's look at a few examples with the verb sentirse. Cuando mi equipo ganó el partido, me sentí muy contenta. Cuando mi equipo ganó el partido, me sentí muy contenta. Pedro se sintió muy triste ayer. Pedro se sintió muy triste ayer. So now that we took care of the verb sentirse, we're going to be focusing on the verb dormirse. We know that it's also a reflexive verb, which is why we have our reflexive pronouns here. And dormirse, to sleep, is also a stem-changing verb in the present tense. Therefore, that tells us, because it is dormir, it ends up in IR, we know that it's going to stem change in the preterite, but only in the third person. So are you ready to go ahead and look at how this verb will change? That O is going to change to a U only in the third person in the preterite. So that is the verb dormirse. Again, remember that it is a reflexive 
So we use our reflexive pronouns and it is a stem changer. But in the preterite, that O changes to U only in the third person. So now let's look at a few examples. Nosotros nos dormimos temprano anoche. Nosotros nos dormimos temprano anoche. We went to sleep early last night. Now, ellos se durmieron muy tarde anoche. Ellos se durmieron muy tarde anoche. They went to sleep very late last night. Of course, dormirse and sentirse are not the only IR verbs that stem change in the preterite. Any verb that stem changes in the present tense that ends in IR will also stem change in the preterite. So we need to make sure that we take a look at some of these verbs in case you run into a situation when you have to use them. Remember, IR verb in the present tense that has a stem change will definitely have a stem change in the preterite, but only in the third person, singular and plural. So again, take a look at this verb so that you know what they mean and that you do have to kind of make sure that you put them in the right place so you remember that they are going to be stem changing in the present tense and also in the preterite. And that's it, amigos. Now you know that stem changers do not stem change when they are AR or ER verbs, but if they are IR verbs, we do have to make sure that we stem change in the preterite, but only in the third person, singular and plural. Muchas gracias por estar conmigo hoy. Thank you so much. If you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, I invite you to go ahead and click subscribe now. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up. Muchísimas gracias y nos vemos la próxima vez.